Next time you're not first, it's hero first, then go dial. Well, to be honest, Piro has most of the advantages. Now, Dingo Dio, if I really give credit to him, he only has three. Is he has an easier access to flame thrower since Piro separates it all in a few types. Now, Dingo Dio has water guns so he can easily counter Piro's flame. And even overpower it. Well, Dingo Dio has more defensive options since he can summon ice sh to protect him from Piro's attacks. Well, but Piro has everything else. Piro has better physical stats. Well, Dingo Dio may have the chance to scale to crash, and he's. Survive an explosion of his flame roar multiple times, but Hero is actually stronger and more durable than Scout, who can sw swing his baby spot back hard enough for Sam Heavy and his minigun flying several meters away and survive three rockets at once. <laughs> and there's the fact that Hero has dodged bullets before, so Dingo Dio Flame will not really hit him and plus he has really no speed feats. The only speed feat is outright and crash. Well to be honest, Dingo Dio's flame throw will do nothing to Hero. Hero suit is actually fireproof. So Dingo Dio's flame thrower will do nothing to him. The most it will do is knock him back. Well, even if we erase their flamethrowers and hero suits, Piro still has the optional advantage. The other weapons that Dingo Dio has was ice to protect him and the water gun that can knock back enemies. But Hero has some guns, axes and other special moves that he can use in fight other than just water gun and flamethrower. His gun gives him small range and his axe can just one shot Dingo Dio to his face. So I think the winner is Piro.